take someone to snap mentally. This was the most memorable moment in Kuga that I thought about every time I thought about the show. Kodai Yusuke, the true identity of Kamen Rider Kuga, was known for his radiating positivity despite the gruesome and dark world roamed by the infamous Grongis and other so-called unidentified life forms. However, this particular episode, episode 35, Emotions, shows a great contrast in character for Godai as he turns into Kuga. Every punch seemed more aggressive and unrestrained, and every punch seemed like an accumulation of emotions built up within Kodai, exploded as he made the Grongi spill blood across the concrete floor. It almost felt like Kuga, despite being the hero of the story, suddenly became an anti-hero or villain. According to Psychology Today, an individual's breaking point is cumulative and does not happen overnight. One article states that a breaking point is not an isolated incident, but the culmination of an internal process. Tension and stress often build over time, until we have enough. Even though fatigue builds up, we continue pushing and want to stay the course. We fail to pay attention to the mind telling us to stop until it is too late. Timothy Fong, a professor of psychiatry at the University of California, describes the breaking point as a human condition ever since the dawn of humankind in which we act on our impulses triggered by our emotional state. In the brain, the amygdala, the hypothalamus, and the periaqueductal gray play a significant role in detecting and responding to threats to protect ourselves, family, friends, and sometimes even strangers. If these regions activate for an extended time, this natural response may transform from a protective mechanism into something very harmful. From this psychological point of view, Kuga's progression of power and forms may be a manifestation of his mental state, as he tries to bear the great responsibility of being the hero in the story. The new forms shown throughout the episode may be an expression of his desire to protect everyone as he thought about those who have died under the Grongis, or those he failed to protect. His power may be trying to adapt to that strong desire, even if that desire is positive. Although Godai Yusuke always keeps a smile on his face and tries to be happy on the outside, there may be a war going on within him. His forms and power got stronger with each passing episode as he faced stronger opponents that produced higher numbers of victims in much more violent ways than the previous ones. Episode 35 was one of the examples of Grongi's inhumane way of killing his victims by adding psychological torment to the victims, making the victim's death a ticking time bomb as their victims slowly lose their sanity. The fact that most of the victims were young might have triggered Godai, which is evident in photos of the young victims flashing before the screen as Guga kills his opponent mercilessly. The pain of being unable to process the grotesqueness of it all may have given rise to his power. When the Gronki was finally defeated, Godai saw a black Kuga, his final and ultimate form. At that point, he was probably wondering if his optimism and kindness would suddenly extinguish as he slowly spiraled into insanity, as he saw himself swaying and fighting in the fire, and as we witnessed the foreshadowing of the dark and ultimate Kuga. Maybe at that point, he was scared that he was transforming into a killing machine, which was hinted at the beginning of the series, and was afraid that he would be unable to counter that by himself. Of course, that did not happen. His sister, friends, and the people he met along the way served significant roles in his life in helping him retain his positivity and not fall into darkness. The power he had did not come from a desire to destroy everything in its path, but to use that destructive power to turn it into something positive. His willingness to put his life on the line and to come to the rescue as he heard the unidentified life forms on the police radio came from the desire to protect everyone. Everyone had friends, siblings, people they met along the way, and family members. Despite everyone living different lives and growing up in different backgrounds, they still have the commonality with Godai and having loved ones and people they cared about. Becoming Kuga and putting himself at risk was selfless as he came to that understanding and realization. In the final episode, Godai turns into the ultimate form. This form was the pinnacle of the show, and it was the most powerful as everything it touched caught fire. 
The dark armor was in stark contrast with the glowing red eyes, the only bright color we are all familiar with throughout the series. The red eyes represent that Godai did not lose his humanity and is still sane and positive. It was a testament to the fact that he did not lose himself to darkness, and every punch from that point on was out of righteousness and his love for everyone.